Emerging research shows there may be great health benefits to eating more like our prehistoric relatives. To find out, Dr. Kim Mulvihill put the paleo diet to the test and she has some results for us. Kim? Hey, Alan. The idea is simple. Eat like a caveman for two weeks and see if it makes me healthier. But to make sure it was really just the food that made the difference, I was not allowed to lose any weight. So I had to eat a lot, six times a day. In the name of science. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Yes. I gave vial after vial of blood. I'm fasting for this. As well as days and days of urine. I'm a modern day guinea pig in a prehistoric experiment. Pork tenderloin instead of turkey vegetable meatloaf. I'm going to eat like a caveman for 10 days. Oh, prune juice, I didn't have that. I'm gonna try your blood. Okay. And scientists at UCSF are going to compare my blood and urine pre and post diet for any changes in my cholesterol, blood sugar, insulin levels, as well as blood pressure. I had to eat a lot of food without losing any weight. On my shopping list? Yeah. Thank you. Lean cuts of meat and poultry, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, no dairy, no grains, no beans, and none of this. Yum. I'm just here to drool. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> At home, a lot of washing and slicing. Two-thirds of an ounce. And weighing. I'm ready to go to work. And eating, lots of eating. Daily, I tracked my weight and blood pressure. Oh, that is so high. See what coffee and a little bit of stress does for you? Then, more blood and urine tests. The results striking after just 10 days. Oh, why? Look at the cholesterol. Yeah. That's wild. My total cholesterol had plummeted, 221 to 170. As for my blood pressure? Your blood pressure is sensitive to the effects of salt. Cutting out processed foods meant a lot less salt, and that lowered my blood pressure. All the plants I ate were packed with potassium, good for my heart, and fiber, and low in acid, meaning I didn't need a lot of dietary calcium. What's more, pre-paleo, I was pre-diabetic. Despite normal blood sugars, there was evidence of insulin resistance. You were, in fact, insulin resistant, and after 10 days, you went to borderline. So, yeah, so actually, everything improved. Yep, I'm better off eating like a caveman. Bottom line, Dr. Frasetto says, I, this is a diet that I should consider mm. staying on for the rest of my life. However, eating all that food, six meals a day, was daunting. Tomorrow, I'll tell you what happens when I eat paleo to lose weight. Pre-diabetic, so. the salt thing, you didn't know. Now I you, didn't know. Now you do. I was shocked. So simple, but. a caveman can do it. <laughs> That's what we should <laughs> be right. it as, right? It is a lot of work, and it's a heck of a lot of food. And it's a lot healthier. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Kim.